Hello and welcome back to our Miami Hurricanes Death Penalty Dynasty. We are in episode four now. If you guys missed the last one, go check that one out against Texas A&M. Today we're going to be taking on Florida International. And that is going to be our, our best shot at a win this season, most likely. I know I said uh, Duke, you know, might be a, a win, maybe. But their overall is uh, pretty decent this season, honestly. So... Uh, they're a B minus. They have the fifth best offense in the country, so that game might be a little tough. I was looking at the schedule uh, last time as well, and I think Virginia might be our only other shot. They're having a rough season. I mean, they're two and one, but uh, a lot of their stats. I mean, 90th pass offense, so we might be able to do something against them. They don't score a whole lot of points either, so uh, not a whole lot of spots on the schedule where we could win. Maybe North Carolina. I mean, they're. You know, kind of middle of the pack. And they're also 1-2 and two on the season. So, you know, we got a couple opportunities here. I'd say maybe two or three different games left uh, where we could possibly win a game. But 0-3 FIU traveling to take on 0-3 Miami Hurricanes. This is it, guys. If we're going to win, we're going to do it right now. Let's take a look at everything real quick. See how the uh, athletic director feels about us. Time to start designing some new plays. Anything to start winning again. You know, AD, we're really trying, buddy. We're really giving it our best. But only so much we can do with the roster that we currently have. Uh, but we'll get there. Let's take a quick look at the roster. See the young fellas out here. Brent Brown, 70 overall. I mean, we've only got five players 70 or higher on the roster. Uh, technically four, because Wes King is a transfer. We won't see him on the field until next season. I'm really hoping that we get a bunch of guys in the transfer portal um, in this offseason as well. Because, well, we, we need the help, that's for sure. And if we're not going to be winning any games, <laughs> or many games, uh, the recruiting is going to be pretty tough. I'm really hoping that you know we don't get just 24 points, I think it was. Uh, in the off season, hopefully we can get you know a significant amount of recruiting points that we can use uh, to try to build up this program and get back to being dominant. As Florida beats Tennessee, nice little top ten matchup there. A&M beats Minnesota. Oh boy, what do we got here? Our kicker and Church. What happened, guys? Nichols has had numerous cases of academic dishonesty for a kicker? Bro, what are you doing, guy? I'm giving three games. Excuse himself for practice again today without any explanation. I mean, does that really matter? No, we, we need church in this game. We need him. All right, we're going to go... Let's see, do we want to go orange and green today? I guess we can't do orange and green. Whatever happened to the orange top green pant combo? What, what's going on there? That's unfortunate. All right, I guess we're just going to go orange top. All right, here we go. Hopefully we can, uh, you know, take care of the football. Get some touchdown drives on offense. And, you know, maybe uh, maybe force some some takeaways. Wouldn't that be nice? Hopefully you guys enjoyed your weekend. Enjoyed the college football and NFL action on Saturday and Sunday, respectively. All right, Miami, let's get it. Let's get it. You know what? We're going to receive it. I want to try to get the ball downfield and, and get a lead, perhaps, early in the ball game. Anything to get some momentum for us, you know? Here we go. Church. Should have been suspended, but here he is on the opening kickoff, and he's going to get it up to about the 28-yard line. We want to try to run the football here a little bit today. I know against A&M we got absolutely manhandled up front. Couldn't do anything against their 
Uh, amazing front seven. There's Lewis up the middle. Nice little run to start us off. Maybe three or four yards. Offense comes in averaging 215 yards a game. That's 116th in the country. It's hard to believe that there are a few teams worse than us on offense this year as Lewis gets crushed in the backfield. And that's a loss of one third and seven coming up. Do want to try to get the ball to the tight ends today. Uh, Lane did pretty decent for us uh, against Texas A&M. Had a couple big plays for us. Oh, gonna have to just take off here, get this first down with Brown's legs. Keep the chains moving. Let's go. Go back to the ground. See what we can do here. Ignore those stats. All right, Lewis. Oh my goodness, right guard got absolutely walloped right there. Loss of three for Lewis. We can just get the ball out quick on some passes and get something going here. And there's some pretty good coverage there on, uh, I think that was, was that Church? No, that wasn't Church. That was uh, 89, I believe. And again, we're not dead last in third down conversion percentage. 23% on the season. That's that's still, that's terrible. I'll just take off again with Brown here. And they're going to leave this whole side of the field wide open for Brown, who's going to move the chains again, utilizing his quickness on the outside. Again, I don't want to run the quarterback too much. Our backup... I believe Jones, he's, he's not really good at throwing the football too much, so. Chuck it up. And, oh my goodness, nice coverage there. Triple coverage, but still got the ball to the receiver. All right, second down and 10. Let's go, oh. Wide open, and Brown is going to drop it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, those are the kind of plays that we, we need to make. There's just no excuse for it. It should have been a nice catch and run for a first down. Instead, we're stuck at third and nine at the 46-yard line of Florida International. Uh oh Yep, awesome. Solid. Oh boy, that's not how we wanted that drive to go. Thought about taking off there, but Brown just does not have the speed for it. Fourth and 14. Yeah, we'll punt it. Thought about going for it for a second. But I think we can get them in a tough spot here and get our defense in good position. And that was a good punt. Out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. And FIU's offense set to take the field now at their own 13. Let's go, boys. Let's get it. Oh, my goodness. Get him, corner. Jeez Louise. So tough trying to to make plays out here with Mitchell. You know, I gotta sometimes I gotta choose. Do I want to just take the blocker out and and hope that our our computer cornerback can come up and make a play, or do I want to try to make that stop myself? Maybe miss and then leave the cornerback on a in a two v one situation between him, offensive lineman, and a running back. You know, it's just some tough decisions to make on the fly. Good play there. Loss of one. Second and 11 coming up. We do have the worst defense in the country. 119th. Averaging 517 yards allowed per contest. 
Get him, boys. There we go. All right, we're set up good here. It's going to be about third and five, third and six. Yep. Two wide receivers set. One tight end, two running backs. For the Golden Panthers. And they're going to try to toss it out again. Get him, boys. Let's go. Defense comes up and gets the stop. Fourth down. And we force a punt. Love to see it. Who do we got back to return? I think it's Brown. Yes, sir. He does have, I believe, one punt return touchdown this season. He had it against uh, Florida A&M in the opening game. Let's see if he can get some spark for our team here on this play. And nothing doing. Maybe to the 27-yard line. No spark on that one. Team holding up pretty well so far, though. 0-0. Zero to zero. 138 to go in the first quarter. And Lewis going to get four more yards up the middle on the ground. Let's go. We do love to see that. All right, I'm going to try to hit the tight end over the middle here on second and six. Oh, boy. Nope. Dang it. Got to make quicker decisions. Of course, I wanted to hit the tight end. That was my first read on the play. And he was covered quite well over the middle. That'll bring up third and 14 now for the offense. Oh, boy. Run, Brent. Now oh, they're just too fast. Pressure off the right edge. Makes Brown scramble to the left. He had no shot. Only a pickup of three. And we'll have to punt it away again. Blackstock and the special teams unit going out there. I'm going to kick it to the left. All right. Randall returns it up to the 48-yard line. See if the defense can hold up again on this drive. FIU probably looking to do some toss plays again. Oh my goodness, I was right there. So unfortunate. Ohio State beats Baylor 42 to zero, my goodness. Of course, this was before RG3 was on Baylor, so that, that team was pretty bad until he got there. Get him, boys. Good hit. Got a hit stick by, I think, the freshman defensive end. I do believe it was Bentley that time. Trust in the secondary here. Never mind. That's the end of the first quarter. All tied up zero apiece. Not a whole lot going on so far. But you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing for us. Just got to try to keep these boys in front of us. Counter. And another good play in the backfield. Let's go. And Robert Bentley, the freshman defensive end that made a play earlier in the drive, uh, comes up off the turf with an injury. That's going to move our other freshman defensive end. Um, Armstrong on the field. Howell is the other defensive end. Third down and nine. And wide open over the middle. That's so unfortunate. We had pressure on the quarterback. Just couldn't get there in time. And the Panthers move the chains. And Bentley out for the game with a bruised shoulder. So we're going to see Armstrong for the rest of this one. I want to try to keep creating pressure, so we're going to send some blitzers. Good tackle on the open field by Heath, the cornerback. Right. 
Second down and one from the six yard line for Florida International. Direct snap. And Randall, I'm not sure if he's going to move the chains or not here. He got close to it. And he did not get it. Third and inches coming up. This could be a huge play for this Miami Hurricane defense. Can they hold strong? That was the outside, and he's just too fast for the corner, and the safety. Randall is in for six. Now our offense has to go out there, and we have to get something going. We've got to answer that touchdown drive. Man, we had guys out there too, just not enough speed. All right, boys, block this kick. Let's go. Nearly blocked it. 50 got through there. Couldn't make a play on it, though. All right, Brown and Church. Set to return this kickoff for the Canes. That's a seven play, 51 yard touchdown drive. Uh, just two passes on the drive so far. Florida International not really looking to throw the ball a whole lot today so far. Oh my goodness, get out of the way. Oof. Lane, the tight end, jumps on the fumble. Man, I'm alive. Our own guy didn't get in our way. That was actually going to be a really good return. All right, we got to get something going here. Brown chucking it deep. Man's got a step on him, and he caught it. Oh, my goodness. Smith down the 16-yard line. Unreal catch. Let's take another look. Full body extension just lays out for it. Biggest play of the season so far for this offense, I think. They had a couple decent passes downfield this year, but none of them really mattered a whole lot. This one gives us a shot at tying this ball game up. And Smith is destroyed at the line of scrimmage. All right, second down and 11. Red zone scoring 57% with throwing some picks uh, in the red zone this year. It's been a little bit rough, but, you know, not a whole lot of chances in the red zone either. Just going to take off. Brown is going to get near the sticks, maybe a yard shy of the marker. All right, third down and two. About a yard and a half, actually. Not even a yard and a half. From the eight. Up top. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Where did the receiver run to? Oh, my goodness gracious. No way. That is unbelievable. I want to see this replay here. Where did the receiver go? We don't even get a good look at it there. There's a flag. I think that's for taunting. All right, let's take a look at that replay. All right, so the guy with the green circle on him. We make him come towards us. I mean, that's just a bad throw. He's wide open. That should have been a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Sick to my stomach with that one. All right, boys, keep fighting. Let's go. They're going to hand it off to Randall up the middle. He's going to get five or six yards. Need the stop. Helps their drive. Started with a first down and 20. Let's go, boys. Let's go, Mitchell. Good play. 
That's going to bring up third down and 14 to go. I'm going to go with the same play here. Cover three. Crowd trying to get hype for their 0-3 Miami Hurricanes. Oh, my goodness. Just a great route. Great catch by Randall. Doing everything we can. But when you just don't have a lot of talent, it's hard to get anything going. It's also hard to stop anything. Oh, that should have been an interception. Oh, my goodness. Is that Heath? Brother Heath. You got to pick that, my guy. I know it's not very fast, but he may have taken that all the way for a touchdown. This is a good tackle. By Armstrong, number 94, filling in for the injured defensive end. That'll bring up third down and five to go for FIU. Come on, defense. Oh, my goodness. Again, we have a guy right there. Just He's just not fast enough to get over there. Off. Randall somehow squeezes through and picks up eight yards. My goodness. Coach up the secondary real quick. A minute and a half to go in the first half. with a nice pop on the halfback Randall he still moves the chains nice play by Hudson second down and ten coming up Let's go Tampa 2. Nice tackle. Let's go Howell. Alright, another third down situation. And they're going to hand it off. Randall, oh my goodness, we stopped him, let's go. Randall with 59 yards on 14 carries with a touchdown today. This will be a 39-yard field goal try for FIU. And kick is up, and it is right down the middle, 10 to nothing. Now remember, we did get the ball to start the ball game. So we got to do everything in our power right now to get downfield and, and put up some points, just any kind of points on the board before this half is over. All right, here we go, Church from the 8-yard line. And we'll get it up to about the 29. The offense will take the field again. We have 72 yards of offense today. FIU with 140. And Smith has it and drops it with a big hit. Come on, receivers. we got to help out our guy. Now, I'm trying play action a lot more because they're just focusing on killing our run plays. 
There's Lane, the tight end. Oh my goodness gracious. Wide open. Went right through his hands. He never even touched it. I'm trying more play action. They're, they're teeing on the run, though. As soon as we pick an actual run play, they they load the box, and we're just we're dead before the play even starts. And that's just going to be a quick three and out. That's the complete opposite of what we wanted here. I was looking for a big play downfield. Couldn't get it. Had a drop. Had the ball go right through our tight end's hands. And then just uh, just an overthrow there from Brown. All right, now what we can't do is allow points right here. That would be an absolute disaster. Game is still within grasp. Not out of hand. Come on, Heath. My goodness. And with that pass, now we just have to look at holding them to a field goal try. Schedule does not get any easier after this matchup. I think we're just fully in conference play after this. Let's go, Mitchell. Good play, buddy. Solid play by the free safety. Number 22. Now, normally, if we had a, a decent roster, I would have just went for the interception there. But I wanted to go for the sure play. If there's anything, you know, and that's actually a sure play for this team. Second down and 10 from the 27. And they're going to go play action. And Mitchell again. Nice deflection. Third down and 10 coming up. Thought for sure that was a touchdown. Let's go cover three. I got deep middle with Mitchell. They're going to go play action. Covering two different guys here, and Mitchell will make the tackle. It is a first down, but only eight seconds left. Just keep him out of the end zone, boys. I think we were off sides. No! Oh my goodness. And I guess we were not off sides, so we're going to get the stop here, hold him to a field goal before the half. Ward already made a 40-yard field goal in this ball game. This will be much shorter, about a 27-yard try. Kick is up, and it is good. Two seconds left. I don't know, maybe we can uh, get a kick return touchdown here to end the half, huh? Let's get it. I've always had better luck returning kicks on the left side of the field. I don't know if you guys have always had that same uh, same problem. But the right side is always more difficult for me. And that's going to end the first half. We're down 13 to nothing against Florida International here in the Orange Bowl. We need a takeaway or something. Second half about to get underway as Blackstock boots it. Oh my, this is not good. Well, that's really unfortunate, guys. And Nate McClellan, one of our wide receivers, has injured his elbow on the play. I'm ready for the offseason. I really am. Get some more talent on this roster. 
20 to 0 as the opening kickoff of the second half is returned for a touchdown. Brown set to return it. And gets up to about the 28 yard line. Another injury on a kickoff. That's Welsh for FIU. Injures his head on the play. All right, offense. There you go, Smith. Good catch, buddy. That's all it takes is some just small plays like that. Get a little bit of momentum for us. McClellan out for one week with a sprained elbow for the Canes. See, they just know that we were going to run it. Throw it up top. And another drop. Man. Really wish we would have gotten some of those receivers in the offseason. Just one or two would have been a game changer for us. Third down and one. Come on, Lewis. Trust in you, brother. And the old line doesn't hold up for us. Yeah, we're going to go for it. Why not? Fourth and two from the 37. And he threw it right to him. No way. Oh, boy. Well, solid. Twenty-seven, nothing here in the third. You know, at this rate, we might get kicked out of the ACC, guys. And Church up to the twenty-five yard line. Just gonna let the coach pick. Why not? Now Lewis is injured on the play, his elbow. Yeah, these plays are terrible, coach. What are we doing? Got a man wide open. Green finally hangs on to it. That's a first down, Miami. Let's go. Goodness gracious. Come on, Brown. Can't hang on to it. Bounces right off his hands. Second down and ten from Miami. That green one on one on the left. And Green has it. Let's go. Down to the 25-yard line. First down, Miami. If I got a user all the catches, I'll do it. Well, we could either get somebody open here or get blown up in the backfield. So we'll see. See how it goes. To the end zone. Smith can't bring it in. 
That's what we're looking for, those one-on-one -on -one matchups. Just couldn't come down with it that time. We're on the 25-yard line. And there's Lane the tight end. He's going to drop one. My goodness. Come on, fellas. Got to make the plays. All right, third down and 10. Round is 4, 1,602 yards, two picks. And Smith comes down with it. Touchdown, Miami. Oh, my goodness. Off the deflection. And we are on the board, boys. Offensive lineman just got blown up right there. About to be down by 20 here in the third. 27 to 7. It's nice to see the offense finally produce some points. We're basically playing with uh, just a high school squad. Come on, special teams. Get it together. Oh, man. Whew. All right, FIU at their own 44-yard line to start the drive. Uh, we're pretty close to them in yards on offense so far. Toss play. Nice tackle. Let's go. Beautiful play. Loss of one on the carry. A stop would be amazing right now. Let's go! Intercepted by Walker off of two deflections. Tip drill played to perfection. Let's go, Miami. Beautiful play by the middle linebacker. Mitchell initially deflected it. And the cornerback deflects it. Well, it's Walker, the, uh, the strong safety, rather, not the middle linebacker with the interception. Our strong safety and middle linebacker are built so similarly. It's hard to tell them apart. And then we threw it right back to him. My goodness. A little bit of contact out there with the refs. Don't see enough of it to throw a flag. One of these days, we'll stop shooting ourselves in the foot, you know? All of our offensive linemen just on their backside. Man, Brown didn't really get a lot of air underneath that anyway. Well, all we can do is go out and try to do it again on defense. Counter. And we had him in the backfield. He broke a couple tackles. Nice run by Randall to pick up five or six yards. Really good effort by him. And they actually give him seven yards on the play somehow. Covering two guys. Not sure where the corner was. He might cover the flats. First down, Panthers. Oh my goodness. Oof. Well, 
up. We can't beat Florida International, guys. I don't, I don't know. I don't know who we're going to be able to beat this season. If we're going to beat anybody. Couldn't beat Florida A&M. Can't beat the Panthers. Just don't have the roster for this. But that is the entire point of this series, so it's going to be an uphill battle, that's for sure. Heath misses. Nice cleanup by Sutton. Bring him down at the 16-yard line. Blitz the cornerback here from the left side. That's going to be Brown. Nice play. One of the linebackers. Second down and 10. 34 seconds to go here in the third. We are down by 20. Direct snap. And Mitchell with a nice tackle around the 8-yard line. All right, defense. We need to stop here. Got to hold a field goal. Gonna hand off the fullback, and he's going to move the chains. It's actually Randall who was in the fullback spot, but that is their running back. And we get the sack. Let's go. That's a good way to end the third quarter, get a sack on the quarterback. Not even sure who that is. That's uh, 54. Hackett. I think that's his first sack of the year. And we're down 27 to 7 as we go into the fourth. run by Randall right up the middle. There's not much you can do about that. And I think we got the stop, boys. We did. Fourth down. FIU. Way to hang tough, fellas. See if they'll just kick the field goal, and they will. It'll be a 23-point ball game if they make this. Shortest field goal you could ever make. Just an 18-yarder. And it is good. 30-7. to Now the score here from the Orange Bowl. Let's go, Church. And up to the 24-yard line is Church. Only 154 yards of offense today. 6 minute 17 seconds time of possession. Oh, my gracious. Receiver just has no awareness. Well, that's how the season's going to go, unfortunately. Not sure who that pass was even to. Bounced off of a few guys.
Quarterback's just going to take off here. Nice hit by the linebacker. That was Luke on the stop. Third down and seven coming up. Good stop, Mitchell. Oh, my goodness. If he misses that, that's a touchdown. It's going to be a 46-yard field goal try for Ward. He's perfect on the season. He missed 12 times last year, though. And the kick is up and good. He remains perfect on the season. And it's 33 to 7. foot on the plate for Miami. Nice tackle. Defense really stepped up today. It's just the offense can't do anything. Held them to a bunch of field goals today. Was it four field goals? Just three touchdowns. Goal line stand. We got ourselves an interception as well. A couple nice deflections. A couple nice big hits today. On a pretty talented running back. Good to see a little bit of fight from some of these guys. Wish it translated to points on the scoreboard and wins, but got to look at the small things those first few years, I think. See if we can get the stop on. Third down and one from the five-yard line. And we do get the stop again. My goodness, what a tackle by Hackett. And Ward coming on for his fifth field goal of the game. Imagine if we could move the ball on offense. This would have been a nice game. So many field goals for them. It's insane. I can't remember the last time we held a team to five field goals. And this one is up and is also good. Five for five on the day. It's 36 to seven with 143 left. All right, Church, hold on with football, brother. Church down the sideline. And Church is gone. Maybe. Inside the 20, inside the 10, down the 9-yard line. Oh, my goodness. If we had any kind of speed. Man. Really good blocking down that right sideline. Nice blocking. Brent Brown, he's going to take this one in. Standing up. Touchdown, Miami. Second touchdown of the game for Brown. First on the ground. Offensive line just getting bullied out here. the score a little bit more respectable here towards the end of the ball game extra point up and good from Blackstock it's 36 14 128 left I don't know how 
this is gonna go. We'll go right there, I guess. I was hoping it would bounce off of him. Oh, we fumbled it, and we got it. Let's go. Comeback season. <laughs> Maybe not, but nice play by the special teams, though. I like to see the boys out there still fighting for it. Oh, I'm toast. I don't know how to throw it away. Okay, it's L2. Gotcha. Don't let me forget that, guys. L2. Smith, player of the game for Miami. Roberson, player of the game for FIU. Oh, he throws it out of bounds. That's so unfortunate. He had the cornerback beat. It was just one-on-one -on -one with the safety. Third toe for Coleman out for one week. So a couple injuries today, but nothing serious for us. Oh my goodness. Man. Had him beat too. Well, you know we're going to go for it. Got to do it. Got to do it. Fourth and ten from the 33. All right, we got a linebacker on church. That could be favorable for us. Brown takeoff. Come on, Brett. That's first down. Let's go. Don't you dare spike that football. All right, that's a 50. Dang it. Another awkward delivery from Brown. Let's put the back of quarterback in with Brown exhausted. And it's Jones. He is more of a runner than Brown is. And Green has it. And he's gone. Touchdown, Miami. Let's go. What a play. 50 yard bomb from Jones. His first career touchdown pass for the Hurricanes. Dropped it right in the bucket. It's nice to see the receivers out here actually catching passes. And we're going to go for two. Make it a 14-point ball game. And it's caught. Green has it. Let's go. 14-point game. Love to see it. Six plays, 67 yard touchdown drive for the Hurricanes. Let's see if we can get this going here. Imagine we get another one. Ah, oh, I think we touched it first. Dang it. Yeah, this onside kick is, it's a lot, it's way different <laughs> than what I'm used to in like 06. You guys know me in 06, man. Like, we get a lot of, of onside kicks recovered. We go with that, maybe. Oh, no way we touched that first. Ref, come on now. That's all right. Hey, we gave it our all here in the fourth quarter. Wish the offense could have produced more throughout the rest of the ball game. Might have been able to squeeze out a win here today. Nice tackle by Heath. Be nice if we can get a takeaway here. Force fumble or something. And yeah, one first down, we'll end it. Nice hit. 
And that is a first down, so that's going to end the ball game. Hey, we put up a heck of a fight there in the fourth quarter, though, didn't we? That's off to FIU. Coming to the Orange Bowl, getting the dub. Just have to snap the ball maybe one more time here. Close this game out. And nice tackle there by the linebacker. And that will do it. Just going to let this clock run out. Four red zone trips for FIU today, uh, not including this one. Uh, one touchdown and three field goals. Again, our defense did their part. Just uh, just got to get some, some more cohesiveness on offense. Well, that's the final, 36-22. FIU gets their first win of the year. Miami, 0-4 oh, in season one of our death penalty dynasty. Let's take a look at the stats. Check out the next opponent and get on out of here. I think we have several more ranked opponents coming up. Well, we had 230 yards of offense, just 53 on the ground, 177 through the air, sacked twice, which is a uh, big improvement from the A&M game where we were sacked, I believe, 12 times. Uh, we had five turnovers, four interceptions really hurt us today. Some missed opportunities there in the red zone again. But we put up 22 points there in the second half. Trying to close the gap. Just not enough. I mean, look at all the field goals, though, guys. We did good on defense. Held them to five field goals today. And three touchdowns. Well, really, the defense, if we look at it, they only allowed one touchdown this entire game. And that was the very first score of the ball game. Five-yard run by Randall. After that, they allowed two field goals. A kick return touchdown. Uh, let's see. Uh, we threw a pick six, so that's it. I mean, the defense held them to just five field goals and one touchdown today. Not shabby. Not too shabby at all. Brandon Jones, one for one. 50 yards and a touchdown today. Very nice. Round 52 yards of rushing. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to adjust the uh, pass block and run block sliders for sure. Marcus Green with a touchdown reception. Clint Smith had one as well today. But again, here's the story of the receiving core. Five drops. You know, that would have made Brown about 10 of 23 there. Uh, obviously not great numbers, but it would be a lot better than what they were at the, at the final whistle of this ballgame. Uh, Jay Luke, seven tackles, led the team. Mitchell and Hackett each had six. Hackett with two for a loss, one sack as well. Interception for Marcus Walker, the strong safety. A bunch of deflections. Mitchell with four. Hudson Heath had two. Luke with one. And David Brown, wide receiver, had a forced fumble on that uh, onside kick attempt recovered by Mitchell. And 84-yard kick return for Church, which led to the Brent Brown touchdown run. And that's it for this one. Again, you know, we had, had a lot of stuff, a lot of positive things happen for us today. Really impressed with how the defense played. Uh, again, though, the offense, five turnovers. And that was ultimately the big difference in this matchup and resulted in our loss. And we're going to be 0-4 heading into our Week 5 game as number 1 USC destroys number 17 Cal, 45-3. Uh, Florida State beats Virginia Tech, 24-20. If I'm not mistaken, uh, we do have nothing but conference play remaining. We might be taking on Virginia Tech here in this next matchup. So they could possibly be a top 25 opponent for us, which would be our third of the season. And nope, we're taking on NC State. I think we got Virginia Tech soon now. Nope, they're week 10. Okay, so 
we have nothing but conference play left, guys. NC State, this is our matchup here. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. If we could stop turning the ball over, I don't know how we're not dead last in turnover differential. I don't even want to look and see who's worse because that's tough. Um, but we have 46 best pass defense. Again, that could just be because teams really don't have to throw it against us. Uh, we got our pass offense to 99th, so we're in the single digits for that. I guess that's a positive, but we do have the worst rush defense in the country. That's tough. So yeah, we got NC State at Duke, and then we're hosting Florida State. We're going to get throttled in that one, 100%. Uh, Georgia Tech, that's going to be a tough one. I mean, all these games, literally every single game on the schedule is going to be really difficult for us to win. Uh, I just... I'm not sure I see a win for us on this schedule. I think North Carolina, on paper, is the worst team left with a C-plus overall. Yeah, that, that's going to be tough. See what they uh, tell, our, tell our coach here on our report card. We throw that game plan out the door. Should be an interesting week of practice. Absolutely. Well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, please slap the like button, subscribe if you're new, and join the Discord community. There's a link in the description below. I'll see y'all in the next one as we take on NC State. Till then, take it easy, guys.